हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चैनल स्टडी बैक मैं सीजन आज भिडियो दो हजार चौबीस वर्ष मेट्रिक परीक्षार अति गुतपूर्ण क्यों आज भिडियो जरिए इंग्लिश इंग्लिश ग्रामर इम्पर्टेन्ट टपिक नेरेशन सो आज भिडियो जरिए कटाम अति गुतपूर्ण नेरेशन आगे जीव मेट्रिक परीक्षार अति गुतपूर्ण सो बल भिडियो आरम्भ करूँ आम सिलेक्ट कर इम्पर्टेन्ट नेरेशन बोर एक नम्बर तो हल अरुण सेट आई डु नट नो दिस बय एसार अरुण सेट डेट हि डिड नट नो डेट बय So question number two, I asked the boy if he had answered all the questions. Answer, I said to the boy, Have you answered all the questions? Question number three, I made some money yesterday. Anil said. Answer, Anil said that he had made some money the day before. Four, Raju told me that he would meet me the next day. Answer, Raju said to me, I shall meet you tomorrow. Five. Anita said to Ravi, "Please lend me your pen." Answer: Anita requested Ravi to lend her his pen. Six. The boy told me that his father would meet me soon. Answer: The boy said to me, "My father will meet you soon." Seven. He said to me, "Lend me your book for today." Answer: He told me to lend him my book for that day. Eight. He said to me, "You will be tired before you arrive." Answer. He told me that I should be tired before I arrived. Question number nine. Ram asked me if I had a car. Answer. Ram said to me, "Have you a car?" Question number ten. The old man wished that I might be happy. Answer. The old man said, "May you be happy." Question number eleven. He said to me, "When did you buy this book?" Answer. He asked me when I had bought that book. Twelve. I said I bought it yesterday. Answer. I said that I had bought it the previous day. Question number thirteen. Ravi thanked me for my help. Answer. Ravi said to me, "Thank you for your help." Question number fourteen. The old man prayed that God might help me. Answer. The old man said, "May God help you." Question number fifteen. Mohan said to Hari, "Can I borrow one hundred rupees from you?" Answer. Mohan asked Hari if he could borrow one hundred rupees from him. Question number sixteen. Hari replied that he had no money to lend him. Answer. Hari said, "I have no money to lend you." Question number seventeen. Can you ride a bicycle? I asked Gita. Answer. I asked Gita if she could ride a bicycle. Eighteen. The teacher said the earth is round. Answer. The teacher said that the earth is round. Nineteen. The teacher said to me, "Don't neglect your studies." Answer. The teacher advised me not to neglect my studies. Twenty. The doctor said to her, "Can you buy the medicine?" Answer. The doctor asked her if she could buy the medicine. Twenty-one. The headmaster asked me who I was. Answer. The headmaster said to me, "Who are you?" Twenty-two. He told his wife that he might be late. Answer. He said to his wife, "I may be late." Question number twenty-three. I met some money yesterday. I said to Hari. Answer. He told Hari that he had met some money the day before. Twenty-four. Mohan said that he goes for a walk every morning. Answer. Mohan said I go for a walk every morning. Twenty-five. The boy said, "Sir, please explain the poem once more." Answer. The boy requested the teacher to explain the poem once more. Twenty-six. The teacher said that he would do that the next day. Answer. The teacher said, "I shall do this tomorrow." The seven he said to them goodbye my friends answer he bade his friends goodbye twenty eight i said to her do you want my help answer i asked her if she wanted my help twenty nine the teacher said honesty is the best policy answer the teacher said that honesty is the best policy thirty anita said i do not know the boy answer anita said that she did not know the boy. Thirty-one. The lady said to the man, "I don't know you." Answer. The lady told the man that she did not know him. Thirty-two. She asked him to keep quiet. Answer. She said to him, "Keep quiet." Three. The lady said to me, "I will tell you my story." Answer. The lady told me that she would tell me her story. Thirty-four. I told her that I had no time for that. Answer. I said to her, "I have no time for this." Thirty-five. The mechanic said, "I will repair your car tomorrow." Answer. The mechanic said that he would repair my car the next day. Thirty-six. 
The teacher inquired of the pupil if he had done his homework. Answer. The teacher said to the pupil, Have you done your homework? 37. He said, Honesty is the best policy. Answer. He said that honesty is the best policy. 38. He said that he takes bath in the Brahmaputra every morning. Answer. He said, I take bath in the Brahmaputra every morning. 39. She said, The water is boiling. Answer. She said that the water was boiling. 40. Mira said that her mother had been suffering from fever. Answer. Mira said, My mother has been suffering from fever. 41. He told her not to disturb him. Answer. He said to her, Don't disturb me. 42. Mother said to me, Don't tell a lie. Answer. Mother told me not to tell a lie. 3. What a beautiful building, he said. Answer. He exclaimed with surprise that the building was very beautiful. 44. She proposed that we should go for a walk. Answer. She said, Let us go for a walk. 45. Can you drive a car? I said to Rahim. Answer. I asked Rahim if he could drive a car. 46. The stranger asked me if I could tell him the way to the post office. Answer. The stranger said to me, Can you tell me the way to the post office? Number 47. Rahim said that his mother had been suffering from fever. Answer. Rahim said, My mother has been suffering from fever. 48. Rahim said to me, Do you know the man standing at the gate? Answer. Rahim asked me if I knew the man standing at the gate. 49. The young man told me that he had come from Johar to work in Guwahati. Answer. The young man said to me, I have come from Johar to work in Guwahati. 50. She asked me why the teacher had punished me. Answer. She said to me, why has the teacher punished you? An Anita said to Ravi, please lend me your pen. Answer. Anita requested Ravi to lend her his pen. 52. Rashid asked me if I knew Rahim. Answer. Rashid said to me, do you know Rahim? Question number 53. Mother said to me, what will you do after the examination? Answer. Mother asked me what I would do after the examination. 54. He said, where does the man live? Answer. He asked, where the man live? 55. I know you well. The man said to me. Answer. The man told me that he knew me well. 56. He said to me, why did you do it? Answer. He asked me why I had done it. 57. He suggested that we should go home. Answer. He said, let us go home. 58. He said that we should go there. Answer. He said, I should go there. 59. He said, let me have some milk. Answer. He requested some milk. 60. He said, I shall go home tomorrow. Answer. He said that you would go home the next day. 61. He said, good morning. Answer. You wished me good morning. 62. He said, congratulations. Answer. He congratulated me. As the video is a video, Metric Puri Karbabe, English Grammar or Zibu Nation of Buhahul, Hebu Metric or District of Oti Gotopono, Zibu Metric or her Homabon or Tibesi. So beautiful, like, share, and subscribe to Napo Ribo. Thank you very much, Joy Hin Joyahom.